Super Heavy doesn't lift off because of fire, it lifts off because of control. Long before the flames and sound, something far more dangerous is already happening inside the booster. Millions of pounds of cryogenic propellant are starting to move, and if that movement goes wrong by even a fraction of a second, the launch is over. Super Heavy carries over 7 million pounds of liquid oxygen and liquid methane, stored at temperatures colder than minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit. At liftoff, that propellant doesn't slowly drain, it surges through fuel lines at extreme flow rates, feeding 33 Raptor engines at the same time. That's not plumbing, that's controlled chaos. Here's what most people miss. Those engines aren't independent, they're connected through shared fuel lines and manifolds. When one engine throttles or gimbals, pressure waves ripple through the system. If those waves line up the wrong way, they can amplify into violent oscillations capable of tearing a rocket apart. This nearly doomed Apollo missions, and Super Heavy faces the same threat at a much larger scale. That's why SpaceX engineered fuel lines that do far more than move propellant. They dampen vibrations, absorb pressure spikes, survive brutal temperature swings, and react in milliseconds. Every bend in those pipes exists for a reason. Straight lines crack, rigid systems fail. The most dangerous moment isn't liftoff, it's startup. Before ignition, the lines must chill, valves must open in perfect sequence, and turbo pumps must spin up at extreme speed. If methane arrives early, engines hard start. If oxygen lags, flames collapse. Get it wrong, and everything ends before liftoff. Super Heavy has to execute this sequence 33 times, almost simultaneously. Early Starship tests didn't fail because the engines were weak. They failed because SpaceX was learning how fluids behave at unprecedented scale. Fires and leaks weren't accidents, they were data. That data is what allows Super Heavy to survive engine failures and keep flying. And here's the payoff. These fuel lines aren't just about launches, they're the foundation for orbital refueling, rapid reuse, and future missions to the Moon and Mars. If SpaceX can't control propellant flow, none of that future happens. If you want the full technical deep dive with real numbers and detailed breakdowns, the long video is waiting for you. Just hit the bottom play button. If this short hooked you, the full video will completely change how you see rockets. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more deep space engineering content, and follow Rocketry on Facebook for daily updates. Share this with a SpaceX fan who thinks engines are everything, because the real story is hidden in the flow.